Good evening. My name is Jeffrey Rudder. You're looking at this either on my blog or on my Facebook page, Jeffrey Rudder's Marketing Page. And what I want to talk about is integrity and trust. You see, it doesn't really matter what product we're promoting. In the network marketing profession, what we're selling is ourselves. Now, it's very easy to take shortcuts and to spam your customers. And sure, you might make a little profit in the short run, but nobody gets away with it forever. As Lincoln said, you can fool some of the people all of the time. You can fool all of the people some of the time, but you can't fool all of the people all of the time. And with our interconnected age, especially with social media and the Internet, you're not going to be able to run and hide. I mean, if you scam somebody, then sure, you know, you may be able to scam couple hundred people, then move on and scam a couple hundred more. But pretty soon, they're going to find out who you are, whether they track your IP address or whether somebody just recognizes your mug. And pretty soon, it's going to get out that you're not a good person to do business with. So nobody's going to do business with you. You don't want that kind of reputation. Now, the best way for us to do our jobs is to build a relationship with our customers based on trust. They have to know that when they come to us, they're going to find a solution to their problem. So we have to know what they need, and we have to give them the answers for it. Now, we can't bring them in with a sales funnel that says, find the secret to life, and then just tell them, you know, look it up in the dictionary. You've got to give value. You don't have to worry about what you're going to get out of it. If you give people value, then you will get lots and lots of money. Now, yeah, it takes a long time to learn how to build trust with people, how to go about setting up sales funnels and capture pages and all the rest of that stuff, how to market on Facebook, what to write in a blog, how to do affiliate marketing. But I'm here to tell you, there ain't no shortcuts. The only way to do it is to work at it and fail. And then get back up and work at it some more and maybe fail again, but in a different way. So that each time you fail, You've learned a lesson, and pretty soon, you'll be rolling in the bucks just the way the big boys are. But you can't do that if you don't have integrity, because nobody's going to buy from you. And the big boys are going to know that you're a fool, so they're not going to want to play with you. I mean, the possibility exists for a brand new marketer to do a joint venture with some of the big boys and girls. Right? I don't want to leave out Michelle Pesco Salido or Diane Hockman. Uh, don't want anybody to think I'm sexist. I'm just old and decrepit. 
out. I apologize for the coughing. Okay. If at the end of the day, you can look at what you've done and said, yeah, I behaved well and with integrity and I gave value for what I got, then you can be a happy man and you can rest assured that you're going to make tons of money because there are hundreds and hundreds of millions of people out there wanting what you've got. The internet gives you an excellent way to get to them, to get your message out in front of them. But you have to do it with integrity. People talk to each other, right? So if you're running a website and you're promising the moon and you're delivering cow flop, then people are going to say, hey, stick away, you know, steer away from that website. Plus, places like Google are going to rank you like 10,000th on a web search. So do you think you're going to get any traffic out of that? No. So honesty and integrity and giving value. We have to give to the community, to our customers. We have to provide value. Once we do that, then it doesn't matter how we market ourselves. Because for word of mouth, for no other reason, people are going to know, yeah, he's a good guy. You want to do business with him because he will steer you right and you'll get your money's worth. So, which would you rather have? You know, $10,000 this month and nothing the rest of the year? Or would you like to have $25,000 a month this month and next month and the month after that? The way you start your business is the way you'll be remembered. If you start out as a sleazeball scam artist, hey, it's going to take you a long, long time to overcome that. But if you start out with integrity, and giving people value, it may take you a while to build up to 25000 a month, but by God, you will have earned it. And you will be able to say, hey, I am a professional network marketer, and that is what you want. That's it. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.